We are so close to 2021. I cannot wait. Uh, that said, the new year brings a new <laughs> view of what you're going to need for healthcare. You need to know what your healthcare options are going to be in 2021. Medicare eligible patients may be really a time to pay attention right now to open enrollment and make sure that you're going to be set for the new year. That's right. And making sure you are set is a medical doctor joining us now, Dr. Sandeep Singh. Welcome to the show. You are from P3 Medical Group, which we've uh, come to know quite well. It's fairly new still here in the Valley, but welcome to the show. Uh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, let's jump into it. We have a lot to get through, doctor, actually, uh, sure. because Medicare and the annual election period, it's its a big topic. There's a lot to cover. So uh, mm -hmm. what are some of the choices that you want people to be aware of right now? Well, I think it's important for patients to just even take stock and think about, is my insurance what's best for me currently? Um, a lot of my seniors, your needs can change from year to year. And so you want to just make sure, is my insurance plan and the one I'm on most beneficial to the needs I have. You know, certain seniors, as you get older or things change, your your medical needs can change. And then sometimes the insurance plan you're on may not be the best for that specific change. So I think it's most important to at least take the time and stop and think and check, is this insurance plan what's best for me right now? And I think it's important to do it yearly. Absolutely. Um, and so that's, yeah, please go ahead. No, I was going to say, I mean, you, you, can, you might have a plan that's slightly more expensive for you, but over the long haul for the entire year, save you a boatload of money uh, going forward. Uh, let's break down to the, uh, to the the basics on Medicare, though. Who is eligible mm -hmm. for Medicare? It's not just people 65 and older, right? Great question, um, and that is a great point. So if you have certain medical needs that are kind of advanced, that can put you under Medicare. Patients who have end-stage renal disease can be on Medicare. So it really is special needs and things like that. So it's always great to talk to a broker and not just assume. You don't want to assume, well, I'm not 65, I can't be on that plan. I have many patients less than 65 who are on these plans and it, and it helps them a lot. So always important, 65 is just the, the one group, but there's two, a few other groups that you always want to make sure in any special needs. And if you're in doubt, call your broker. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you mentioned advantages of that plan. Uh, there is a Medicare Advantage plan. And yes. uh, we hear quite a bit about it. We know it's kind of, kind of a, a higher level plan. Isn't that kind of the simple way to describe it? It is. You know, I like to think of it more as it focuses a little more on a patient-specific needs because higher level sometimes implies higher costs, and that is not true as well for Medicare Advantage plans. So a few of the advantages of Medicare Advantage that I think are, are definitely key for my seniors are dental and vision are big things that, if not fully included, are at least partially covered. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things like Meals on Wheels that can deliver things to the house. There's able to have home health to come and do physical therapy at the house. So there's so many different needs. There's even things with the gyms where you can get a discounted or free membership. Mm -hmm. So maybe nice. on the face, even though it looks like it costs more, you actually save more money with these other things that it actually becomes a cheaper plan for you. Exactly. Would you rather mm -hmm. have, uh, you know, five, uh, $5 less now, but pay 10 yep. over the course of the year or pay the five now and not pay the 10 over the course of the year. It's a math equation. And, a, well, and, and another big thing, I'm sorry to interrupt, is the, yeah. is the transportation. It provides transportation for a lot of them to and from your clinic. So I know a lot of my seniors, you know, they don't have somebody available or they don't feel comfortable driving. That's another great aspect of the Medicare Advantage plans. Curiosity, is, is it tough to, to switch a Medicare plan or to a primary care provider? I mean, I'm assuming that the this... For us, if it's like speaking a different language, but you tell That's us. a great question. Well, it took me a while to learn it, too, so it's not easy for anybody. Um, it's not hard to switch. The key is, again, talk to the broker. Um, and when you talk to the broker, you should express to them what's most important to you. So I have some patients where they're very close with their specialist. Let's say you're a, a cancer patient you have an oncologist. Well, it's important then to make sure they're in your network. So anytime you switch, I think it's important to ask the questions and feel free to ask the brokers anything because they're, they're there to do that. But is my primary care provider in the network? Is my specialist in the network? How long will it take me to see them if they are in the network? So never hesitate to ask and make sure the plan you're picking is the one that's for you. It doesn't need to be for the whole, it needs to be for you. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and sometimes that just means asking a lot of questions. Um, Dr. Singh, P3 has expanded very quickly, and every time we talk to doctors um, from P3, you're just so, so articulate. I know that y you were probably drawn to P3 because it is a physician-led organization. So explain to the viewer what that means exactly. Sure. So I think... I've been in other companies where it doesn't seem like the doctors will have at least a say in how some of the management is run, some of the things. You know, a lot of doctors have kind of passed off the the decision making. And at P3, it seems like they've done a really good job of incorporating our voice. It's not the only voice you hear, but, you know, you want to hear what your doctor thinks is best for you. And you want to be able to then have people in place who can then implement those plans. So I feel P3 does an excellent job of, okay, doc, what's best for our patients? And then they go and try to make that happen versus, well, we don't think that's best for the patient. And then we get it back and forth. And so I, I really feel like they focus on, if you think that's best for the patient, we'll go get it done. And so having that plan, I've noticed definitely makes a difference in people's care. Yeah, it'd be nice to, yeah, it's I mean, it should just kind of be the default. What about yeah, the patients? It is not. It is not the default. <laughs> no, no. Well, <laughs> it's a great trend in medicine, so we appreciate having you. Dr. Singh, great oh. having you, my friend. I thank you guys both. Appreciate it. All right. P3NV.org if you want to learn more about P3. You could also give them a call at 333-4700. And P3 Health Partners Nevada, a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.